Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to review the KBER BT5. So before I start reviewing the KBER BT5, uh, I just want to say thank you to Woo Easy Earphones. Uh, they have been kind enough me. They have been kind enough to provide me a review sample of the KBER BT5. But uh, I rest be assured that uh, there has been no money exchange between me and Woo Easy Earphones from AliExpress store in terms of favorable opinions. But I would like to thank Woo Easy, send, uh, Woo Easy for sending me this uh, uh, dongle, and uh, I would appreciate if you could go and check their AliExpress store out they have a lot of earphones lot of dax and lot of taps available in the stores and they have really fast shipping i have personally used them uh, twice uh, before this review so i can vouch for them before i start the review i just want to talk about the fit comfort and build quality of the kbr bt5 so the build quality uh, is very plasticky uh, as you can see yeah this these two dongles you can hear this and uh, they are cheap but uh, then again the price of this dongle is around uh, 16 to 20 dollars so you shouldn't expect much at this price point uh, the size is quite compact you know you can pocket it very easy uh, the ear hooks are also uh, very soft so you won't be having any issues and uh, for me the fit of uh, wearing it with any, any IEM this is a two pin version as you can see this is a two pin version and uh, there has been no issues for fitting any IEM to me and also uh, when talking about the uh, talking about the comfort while wearing it comfort also has been fine for me but while doing any uh, jogging or any running what happens is these two dongles uh, when they're hanging around your neck they do bounce up and down and what happens is while these bounce up and down the ear hooks also bounce and uh, they might take the IEM out of your ear so I will not suggest to do any high high octane activity or any sports activity while uh, wearing these bluetooth earbuds so please keep that in mind these are not meant for that these are just meant to convert your ims into a bluetooth so this is the build quality fit and comfort uh, very basic nothing much over here now just i'll talk about the bluetooth section of this uh, dongle the bluetooth section of this dongle these do use uh, bluetooth 5.1 as you can see it over here and uh, they do support aac and sbc codec sadly there is no aptex or ldac i would love to see ldac in this but then again i can understand that the price point these are hitting are around uh, 16 to 20 dollars depending on where you get them from and what time you get them so do keep that in mind and also these have around 110 milliamp hours of battery which they suggest they give they suggest that they'll it will give around six hours of battery I have personally gotten around 5.5 hours of battery uh, with around 50% of volume uh, using the Moondrop Chew 2s. So they are not that hard to drive. So if you uh, drive more harder IEMs like my 7Hz Timeless AE or something like the Tanstream Kara, uh, the battery life will also decrease. For the Moondrop Chew 2 which is a same uh, similarly priced IEM, uh, these went for around 5.5 hours at around 50%. And uh, they do not support any fast charging which, which is a bit of a bummer because sometimes I do forget to charge them. Uh, so I would love have seen a fast charging you know uh, five minutes fast charge will give me around one rp or something like that so they do not support that but then again all the features i stated are all a bit of a nitpick because this is only again 16 to 20 dollars keep the price in mind okay uh, so next talking about the sound the sound there is nothing much to talk about because uh, uh, what i thought when i first got this was these won't sound that good and these cannot power any eye but uh, these do not color the sound in any way uh, so the moon drop to, uh, to as it sounds in the wire uh, the same way it si uh, sounds via the bluetooth dongle same goes for my 7 hertz timeless a and the tanstream kara and one more surprising thing is these are uh, very powerful for example these can drive my 7 hertz timeless a without any issues like obviously yeah uh, if it had had ldac codec it would have been nice but these type the 7 hertz timeless a which is a uh, very hard to drive IEM, very easily there are no issues in that and i was very surprised by this because uh, what happens i can take my 7 hertz timeless a turn it to, uh, turn it into bluetooth for only 16 to 20 dollars and I, I can go out and you know listen it via my phone so that's a great feature and uh, that's a great uh, advantage of this because uh, you would think that a, a very cheap dongle like 16 to 20 dollars it wouldn't be able to power uh, planar IEM but it is uh, powering a planar IEM without any issues which I was quite surprised at because if I know the cheap dongles which comes from other company at the similar price range they can't do that uh, they are only meant for uh, IEMs which are around uh, 16 ohms or 24 ohms so yeah i was very surprised when it powered the planar so you could uh, so why i suggest this is uh, like so for example if you want to get want to get something expensive like the moon drop little white but you do not want to shell that much cash or uh, if you want to pair it with something cheap i am like the moon drop to the tang zuban or the truth Rola or something like that and you want to take them out and uh, turn them into a wired i am you can uh, use this 
now you might say why not use the ear hooks version uh, for me why i don't use the ear hooks version is i can just put them around my neck and whenever i want i can just uh, take uh, take the iams and put it uh, on my ear and uh, uh, and that is one of the main reason i use neck pad if i have those ear hooks once what happens is i have to uh, take it out every time and put it inside the case and carry the case for these i don't need to carry the case i can just wear them around my neck that is one of the main reasons why i really like this although yes i would have loved to see uh, seen a better build quality i would have loved to seen uh, this whole section be uh, be over here so that the weight distribution of this would have been proper because i do not like the weight distribution of this even when i'm walking a bit fast these uh, dongles jump around and uh, jump up and down and uh, cause issue for this ear hook causes issue for this ear hook and the iams may fall off so that is one issue so if kbr launches a new version of this a bit improved version let's say at 30 or 35 dollars where the build quality is bit more better and uh, the dongles are not located over here but uh, rather on the neck that would have been uh, really good now recommendation do i recommend this yes i do recommend this highly recommend this because uh, nowadays uh, many people go out and they carry their iams outside you cannot always have your wired connection with you right so you can use the ptr5 or something like a bluetooth dongle but those are expensive and uh, and that would still uh, require you to use the wire so if if you use something like this let's say you use a moonrock chu to with this and uh, you can just have a portable setup on your hand which you can wear around your neck and uh, you can carry it on you don't need any case or anything like that so hence i recommend this but yeah do be aware of the negatives this have uh, when you go to buy this i just again want to thanks to everyone who has watched my video who has subscribed to my channel it helps out a lot right and uh, i'll be trying to bring in more reviews uh, for example the tanjim kara review will be coming soon uh, among many other iams which i'm trying to do i've been a bit busy so sorry i couldn't bring in more videos and uh, also please to check out who is here phone thanks to them for sending this review unit and uh, yeah please to like my video please to subscribe to my channel it helps a lot it's free it doesn't cost you anything and uh, it will help out a lot and i'll try to bring in even more reviews so i hope you like this video i hope you have a great day ahead bye